Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Factorio. I have uh, moved all of the ores up here. Uh, they are in these two warehouses right now. And uh, I, I transferred this belt over to moving the chunks. We are now currently unloading the chunks uh, from, from this area down here. Um, everything is still turned off because um, the solid fuel hack worked a little bit, but... Uh, it's it's not working nearly as good as I was hoping. Uh, we, we had a lot of the naphta and fuel oil down there. Uh, we currently no longer have that excess. <laughs> it's being made, uh, but we're not making it to make fuel. We're making it to make uh, uh, little pieces and parts for our science that we were uh, bootstrapping. Uh, so that's not, uh, that's, that's still a concern. Uh, you know, I should have learned uh, those little hacks, last minute hacks you do in Factorio, they never work. They never work. I have never had one of those work, but yet I, I still try it all the time. Um, we have some uh, concerns right now uh, in that, uh, you know, power's definitely one, but we're also out of a lot of things uh, like iron and steel and, uh, well, we've been out of aluminum forever. But, um, and it's starting to affect things like down here in the mall, for example, uh, that's, that's too far. Um, up here in the mall, you can see we're, we can no longer make gears because uh, we're out of iron. Uh, so that's not a good thing. So we're, we're on borrowed time, as it were. Um, I think we'll be fine just kind of switching the power back and forth. I, I think that's going to work out uh, for, for at least a while because we made so many chunks. Uh, they're, they're still coming, and we've got, we've got tons more uh, just by having that on for that brief amount of time. Uh, so maybe we can we can turn that system on to generate a bunch of chunks and uh, then then turn it off to uh, recover. Uh, but yeah, these are are filling up. Um, it's 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 a rather slow process uh, because I decided to belt it. Um, I may go and help things along here very soon. Uh, but I want to get into smelting, uh, getting that set up working. And uh, I tried something earlier. It did not work out. So I want to try something else. So uh, let's go ahead, roll the intro, and we'll get right to it. All right, so I think in the last episode we had the warehouses and, and that was feeding. Um, that's not going to work out because we have a lot of different things that we're going to be smelting here and we need a lot of room in order to make that happen. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do instead is uh, just basically make this guy come out of the middle here and uh, we'll take the individual warehouses down to the south uh, where we can process them into their ingredients and uh and then and then move on from there and we're going to make sure we have uh plenty of space in order to get that to occur so i think i want the first one on the line here to be iron and let's see tin will go in right there copper will come down and be right there that would put iron on that line right there. Let's just go ahead and open these so we can remember what they are. Uh, let's see, this one is silver, which we're not making yet, but we will be someday. Um, I think I counted out that uh, we can actually, we're actually gonna end up making uh, 13 uh, items. Um, I have space here for 12 because I'm not sure that we're actually going to be using all of them like in needing to be smelted in mass and i kind of want to reserve this uh for those items um for example cobalt i'm not quite sure that we're actually going to need to run that so we may hold off on that one uh but like gold and aluminum i know we are um silver i think i saw that in some places um and all, of course all of these are going to need to be done and that one was filtered iron right okay uh, so that line is going to come down into here, and uh, you are going to basically just come off right here and uh, feed that warehouse. And I want to leave a little bit of room, if we can, to um, maybe not that much room. I guess instead of going, we could set off another warehouse to the side. Yeah. 
uh, let's uh, space it out just for that. And uh, that will then come out on there. And uh, basically what I'm thinking is we could we could make like little loaders that, that go out the side here that transfer from one to the other. Just in case, you know, who knows what the future will hold. Uh, we just want to we just want to future proof things a bit. And uh, then this is going to come out and I want to set up we, we want the processed things to go. Four, five, six. Actually, those can probably let's do it like that instead. Or uh, even even better yet, let's uh, do it like this and have two belts in the middle and that'll space evenly with the warehouses. Yeah, I like that much better. All right, so we'll have uh, an input line coming from in there. Uh, long, long, long. Short, short, short. Short, short, short. Long, long. Layers in the way. Okay. And uh, you guys will make the processed iron. That will come down onto that belt, and uh, we're going to want our blast furnaces down here. And I think I want the end goal of these modules to be uh, ingots, just, just pure lines of ingots coming out that we will end up storing. Uh, probably moving down to the end and, and storing. Uh, let's see. I think uh, we actually had three blast furnaces. I'm not sure that that was technically necessary, though. I don't think we were using those very efficiently. But um, charcoal and processed iron is going to be needed for that. That's going to come down like this. And uh, I think we can, we'll can we be able to run a charcoal line across the bottom okay and uh, that spacing right there and uh, technically, we can go all the way down to there, uh, which will have, what, six lines coming on each side. Uh, no reason why we don't take this one all the way down, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and uh, then we have some room to expand that if we need to. All right, so that will be for iron. Uh, we're going to want a similar setup for copper, and uh, I don't know how much space we want to do. Maybe that one. Because some of these are going to be a little bit more complex, things like uh, uh, aluminum and... Uh, gold definitely uh three four five six right now i just want this stuff kind of spaced out and uh let's see copper i think we're right now let's just get this back up to the way that it was
I think we only had one of these making copper. Oh, copper needs oxygen. That's something to think about. Uh, and let's see, we had a process going for 10. Are we out of these already? How can we be out of these? Huh. I don't know where they ended up. Unless they placed some of these over here. Huh. Uh, let's go ahead and remove all of these. Because uh, we know we don't need them. At least now. Until we get all the process set up set up. And, uh, yeah, huh. That's how many we had. I wonder where they ended up, unless it's down there in that warehouse. Let's we'll just go check and see if we have anything just kind of lurking about in there. That was just for spacing purposes. It didn't need to be taken all over the place. So, yeah, that warehouse is just right here, so it's not like I'm trekking all the way across the map. Hopefully, and we can take a look here at our um, chunk moving. See how that's going. It's uh, going. Yeah, do we not have any uh, any more of your processors? Uh, what is being attacked? Oh, robots! No, no, guys, what are you doing? Silly, silly, silly robots. Don't go down there. Oh, you know what? I should be able to pick you up. Dum-dums. All right. Uh, how bad did that hurt? We had 25. Uh, we have... Okay, we lost three of them. All right, well, I guess we don't have those. Um, let's grab some steel and uh, iron, and uh, hopefully we can make some. Uh, is it here? Here. Stone. Let's suppose we have any stone in here. No, of course not. Why would we have stone? Oh, boy. Just have to grab a lot of it. I think I used up most of my stone when I was uh, when I was making all these warehouses. That's probably where those went. All right, so we'll get that all built there. And uh, you are going to be the tin processing. And uh, we probably only need one of these right now. Whoa! Alright, and uh, there's our belt as well. And uh, that's all the belt we can make, folks. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna have to... Uh, I think we're just gonna have to, like... Get, get iron up and running, and uh, at least get that going down. Uh, let's see, what is that going to, what's that going to entail here? Um, our iron line is right there. Uh, we're going to be processing the ingots here. Uh, probably smelting them over in that direction. Boy, that's a, that's a long way to go. It's not going to be that bad. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and get this process started here. Uh, you are going to do sapphirite chunks. Uh, you are going to do jivalite chunks, and that is going to give us uh, a lot of iron there. Uh, do we, is this power pole live? Of course not. Why would it be? 
Uh, we'll get both of those processing. And uh, see what's up with power here. Okay, that should be live now, right? All right, you're doing your you're doing your uh, processing. Um, what are we gonna do without belt? That is a question that I have. I guess we just pick this up for now. And uh, we make it work. I've been doing, uh, this is probably episode number four or five that I've done in a row. Uh, just trying to get a lot of this stuff uh, working right. Um, that's going to be a big, huge chunk. Uh, let's see if we can't get these guys out as well. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. All right, and this is just to make some room. Make some room for the ores that are incoming. Because right now it's getting a little bit a little bit tight in there. And alright, that'll get that processed. That'll get those ores sorted. Uh, the next step, we're going to need to get charcoal down here. And boy, I don't even know... I think we sucked up the charcoal line whenever all this was going down. Is that it right there? Yeah. Is that gray belt? That's gray belt. Um, let's see. Let's uh sacrifice the bronze plate line. <laughs> And uh, whatever this line is as well. Yeah, we really just need to get iron up right now because that's the one that's killing our belt supply. I probably should have just... You know, my idea was is that we would stick this together with uh, with belts for the time being, and uh, that would be okay. And uh, as we transitioned over to trains, uh, we wouldn't wouldn't do that anymore. I just noticed I have a ton of undergrounds uh, that could have probably been used to our advantage. Um, okay, so I said six, two, three, four, five, six, so that would be a charcoal line coming in. Let's see, that's aluminum. We don't need much of that anymore. And whatever this line is. It's not there either. Yeah, see, it's going to be fine. 
be just fine. I don't even know what you guys are worried about. Uh, you require eight processed iron every four seconds. Uh, do we have any of the fast ones? Not on us. got an idea <laughs> uh let's see you 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 there we go that'll at least give us some uh, belt being made there. All right, in, 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 in. Uh, shift L, shift L. That'll get you guys going. Uh, you make a 24 every four seconds. Boy, is one belt going to be enough for that? Um, and if I haven't if I haven't explained at all what what I'm doing here, uh, what 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 my idea is here, uh, which I'm just now realizing that I may not have. Um, it, it's all about it's all about breaking up the the modules that we had and uh, kind of making them a little bit more uh, specialized. Uh, so whereas before we had the one little area that went in and, and kind of ended up making everything, uh, what I want to do here, we have the we have the section down here that's making the chunks, and that's its job. Um, we have the section here that's making the mineral sludge. That's its job. They're kind of like two little units. And um, the, the chunks that are making here then get sent up to this unit, and... Uh, this one I want to produce ingots. I want that's that what the final product for this guy to to actually end up being. And uh, then there'll be another section after this one where we can take the ingots and uh, mix them together into the different alloys and plates that we need uh, going forward. I wanted to kind of do this in mass uh, for a lot of them. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like that's going to be much of an option for us. Uh, so we'll have to make do. Uh, we will have to get we have to get iron up and running. Uh, that is definitely the priority. And uh, once we get iron up and running and down on the bus, we'll have uh, infinite belt again, where we can have a little bit more a uh, little bit more room to play with. How is power? All right, we're getting some mix of some solid fuel in there. It's not like it's not, but. This is still full. That's a good sign. We'll just uh, let that continue to to be awesome. And, uh, boy, I'm wondering if, if I just want to go ahead and set up. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's just for now... Let's just get this set up, uh, cause we actually need it. Uh, we can actually run a couple of these off of that. Let's uh, do that as well.
uh, molten iron, molten iron, uh, iron plates, iron plates. And <laughs> no belt. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is? What are these guys doing? Are we literally out of all the other ones? That would be awesome. Yes, we are. Okay. Uh, we still need that for now, but... We don't need it nearly as much as we did, and we can use that. We can use this belt here temporarily in order to run a belt and get our iron line back up and running again. I have um, expanded too fast. Uh, that is what you're witnessing right now. Uh, the first symptom was the power. Uh, I should have, uh, actually there were probably symptoms before that, but, uh, the immediate one was the power, uh, the, the most blatantly obvious one was the power, and yeah, I completely ignored that, and, uh, now it is showing up again with the iron supply. Uh, we'll do inside for you, you, and you, and that should end up evening out in the end. Um, okay, which one of these is our iron line? It is this one right here. Okay, I can add the belt, but I can't. And I can't remove the power pole from that mode. All right, and is that a straight shot? That gets us iron back on the bus? I think that gets us iron back on the bus. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> 19k, 22k of those, so uh, that should give us a little bit of iron moving forward. Uh, this is all stuff that's draining out. Very nice. All right, so yeah, we got some work to do here. Uh, we got some things to fill in, but that's the general idea. We'll have um, all the things, uh, those turning into ingots, those going that way. Uh, well, they'll be processed later into things like plates. Uh, that's going to actually be done over there. Uh, steel plates, all of that wonderful stuff in that location. All right. Well, um, wow. Wow. I need uh, to take about a week off, and <laughs> hopefully uh, it won't be a week for you guys, uh, but it will be a week for me. Uh, but kind of regroup things a little bit here and uh, try to figure out wh what I did here and uh, a plan going forward uh, to get all this back up. Um, Fuel-wise, just my immediate thoughts, uh, I don't really kind of want to expand this out any further. Um, I was looking a little bit into producing fuel via farming. Uh, you can basically make a little, a little module that does all the farming kind of like this. Uh, farm some things, turns that into fuel, oil, 
uh, then turns it into, there's oil generators I think you can run, or you can turn the oil into solid fuel like this with a little bit of charcoal. Um, that's an option. Uh, there's always solar, but uh, yeah, I don't know, solar. I'm not the biggest solar fan. Uh, I, I, it's just, it takes up a lot of space. But, you know, it may be, it may be an option. We'll, we'll just have to look. Uh, but right now, I mean, I like where this is going. I think I just, I just built a little bit too big for my britches, as it were. But, um, we should be fine now. Uh, why isn't this line moving? That is, uh, definitely not a good thing. The line definitely should be moving. Is that going too far? That's going too far. All right. We'll double check this. Uh, make sure that it runs all the way down. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, I will be back today or tomorrow and uh, to, be, to be recording some more and hopefully uh, something that makes a little bit more sense. But thank you. And uh, what's this right here? Oh, look at this. I forgot about this chest. That's going to help too. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.